stream to let you guys know about some things that could be happening uh, this week and in the upcoming weeks. Again, might, because, you know, all best laid plans, right? All, uh, whenever you plan something, you never know if it's gonna, it's gonna pan out or not. Anyway, um, I've kind of lost track of what happened to Russell, but anyway, it's probably because recently I've been hacked into by, uh, I don't know who. Anyway, I put a post up there for you guys to see um, somewhere in Hangzhou or something. Somebody hacked into uh, my Apple ID or whatever. I don't know. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? They, they, they do that all the time. Uh, my identity has been stolen. Oh no. Oh no. It's probably flattering at this point because... <laughs> In the past, it was like, oh, who, who is this guy? Who is this pesky marker reviews? Who is this uh, Sicilian anchor baby, island boy of your dreams? <laughs> who is he? I don't know. I don't know. But now, now they're really extra time to hack me. Um, apparently, they hacked into my other account, the Triller, Triller account, and I no longer have access to that. Um, I made a new one, don't worry, I made a new one. <laughs> That's how it works these days, right? Just forget about the old one where you've got like maybe a thousand or so videos. Uh, forget about that one, just start again. Start again. <laughs> this, is, uh, this is how you live, right? This is how you live on social media. They hammer you on one platform and then you just make a new account. And you make a new account and you make a new account. Reconnect, reconnect. We're back live. I pressed the reconnect button like, I don't know, how many times am I gonna press the reconnect button? Uh, who knows what's gonna show up on the channel? <laughs> Isn't this fun? Isn't this fun? You have these live streams and then um, sometimes it works, sometimes it disconnects, sometimes it's back, it's back. I'm back like Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> Uh, I just passed by another amazing Supra. The other day I made a video about this, this really cool blue Supra. I was just driving around the streets of Earth. There we go, there we go. I say account got stolen and uh, it disconnects. Are we, are we still alive? We should be live. I see the numbers moving on the top left corner. 320, 320 something. 320 something. Second, I say, uh, I say my account got hacked. Bam! Disconnected from the from the internet on the live stream. Okay. Fun stuff. Fun stuff. So I said, like, uh, my Triller account got uh, got beaten, probably stolen at this point because I can't get back in. So I made a new one. This is how it works, right? This is how it works with social media these days. You create accounts. You work hard on building your accounts, posting videos to the accounts uh, on those few uh, non-mainstream app, apps where you can actually comment on stuff. You spend the time to comment and uh, speak to people who have questions about the stuff that you make. And then, bam, your account gets locked out or stolen or the platform does something crazy and then like, puts a parental lock on it, you're like, come on, I'm 40 years old. Come on, come on, Likey, what's the matter with you? And then this morning I did another video because uh, Likey decided they were not gonna show that my old account had like over 200 subscribers. My new account had 13, 13. Um, and then this morning, two more people joined. And then I look at my old app, I look at my new app. The old, the old app reports, 15. The new app reports 13. So they capped me at 13. Whatever. <laughs> Yay! Everybody, everybody, let's, let's win. Let's win or lose. I don't know. Is it winning or losing when they keep capping your stuff? <laughs> you tell me. I mean, I, I've only got questions left. I've got questions for you guys. <laughs> Are you winning? Are you winning? When you got snozcumbers, I don't know. Are you winning? Losing? 
I don't know. I'm gonna gas up because I'm at, I ran out of I ran out of uh, uh, things to say. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Uh, anyway, so let's talk about the cool stuff that's gonna be happening hopefully this this week. Um, I want to try to uh, contact my buddy Russell. I think I'm gonna give him one of my uh, my resin printers. He's got one of my plastic printers. I hope he, he got it to work. Uh, and he's got my recycling machine. So you can take filament, okay? You can take filament ABS or uh, PLA and you can break it down into little shards and then the machine takes those little shards and turns it back into filament. It's fantastic. If more people did that, we'd have less plastic in the oceans and we could keep 3D printing uh, cool costumes or like accessories for the house and stuff like that. Maybe we could we could even build like countertops and uh, compost or you know replacement parts instead of using wood and other things for the for the house. Imagine a world where we could do stuff like that. Yeah. So, so yeah. <laughs> Imagine in a world where they actually cared about trying to fix stuff. Well, we're not living in that world yet, but we're we're getting there. We're getting there. If enough people join us on our mission to make the world a better place, and now that we have. Um, um, what's that cool guy uh, from Jio Nation? I think it's his name is Matt. Matt. He uh, he did a cool video where he shows this company that makes solar panels that could last 30 to 35 years. And if we could get some of those on people's roofs, they wouldn't be losing money. Is there any leadership on on getting uh, decent solar panels on people's roofs, or is it still the old? Only last about 10 to 15 years stuff that I wouldn't want to sell. <laughs> Remember I used to sell solar. I used to sell solar, but I didn't I didn't want to scam people with solar panels that only last maybe 10, 15 years and then they don't do the job that they're supposed to do anymore. So I didn't want to scam people and keep selling them stuff like that. Would you? I don't know. I've got questions for you guys. <laughs> I don't have a lot of answers anymore. It's one of those things. It's one of those things, right? It's one of those things where you start running out of solutions to problems because nobody wants to fix anything. Ah, anyways, let's talk about some good stuff that's going down. I'm going down in funky town. So the, the hydroponics is doing pretty well right now. And um, that awesome guy from the 3D Printing Nerd channel, uh, Joel Telling, uh, we used to email a long time ago. I uh, tried to do a call up with him but you know he's busy and stuff so but uh yesterday he was awesome and he and he replied back on his channel and said uh maybe if you email me there, there could be a chance that he may um 3d print one of my 3d uh, models i can give him the files for free uh, but i don't know if i was able to email him or not because again as i said before some hacker got into my uh account so i, I don't know uh, sometimes the emails go through, sometimes Gmail just does what it does, sometimes YouTube does what it does, so I'm not sure. So I also tried to um, send him the same message on Patreon, and then I also posted the video on my YouTube channel, so maybe at some point, some way, the algorithm or something will, will make things work. And, uh, you know, if he needs any any of my 3D printed, uh, printable models, I'm more than happy to uh, give them out, as well as any anybody else who, who wants to try to 3D print the stuff, um, I've always been very, very vocal about um, helping people out um, and, uh, and sharing, sharing. Sharing is caring, as I, as I always say. And um, it's always been that way, but you know, like YouTube doesn't really allow people to see my stuff. Uh, and so after 15 years of that stuff, I started to promote my, my channel and, and all the things that I do on all the alternative mainstream media stuff. Uh, because, you know, well, Twitter was the worst. Uh, I keep saying that. You know, keep drilling that. Twitter was designed to cause mental problems to people. Um, and, uh, and, you know, it's so cryptic that it just makes people hate each other. So uh, I'm never going back to that unless whoever owns the, 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 the platform sells it off to somebody who reforms the whole platform. So I'm never going back to that. And I'm still on, uh, on Facebook because, you know, some of my friends and family members refuse to leave the platform. And so um, if I want to communicate with them, they're only on that and, uh, and Instagram. So <clears throat> occasionally I'll go there just to talk, <clears throat> but none of, 
I don't do a whole lot of posting on on there anymore, unless to stick it to to those platforms for you know like uh, not promoting my stuff, not promoting my stuff. It's been on there for 15 years. I've got like 3,000 subscribers on uh, on Facebook. I've got 64 on Instagram and uh, a whole bunch of others on another Instagram. And you know like as I said before. The only way to get noticed, apparently, is if, you, if you're if you like on one platform and you cross platform on all the platforms. I think I'm on every single platform that exists, except for the ones that died, like that no longer exists because, you know, the powers that be decided that um, they should not exist anymore. So Zane is gone and uh, what was the other one that like me. Now Likey's having his own problems. Triller might have his own problems. Patreon was never really good to me. I think there was only one Patreon at one point. That was my dad. <laughs> it's like, ah, I believe in you, son. I believe in you, son. He was the only one. <laughs> anyway, everyone was like, ah, you suck, man. You suck. You suck. Anyway, I'm at Costco getting ready to um, to gas up. To gas up. Just wait in line. So, as I said, maybe Joel Telling will... will um, well, 3D print one of my things. Um, and he, he said he might. Again, might. Might. I don't want to push anybody's buttons here. So if it, if it happens, it would be a, a dream come true because it's been a long time coming. And uh, that'd be awesome. Uh, again, I'm going to do a lot of, um, as I said before, I'm doing a lot of giveaways with, uh, with my printers and stuff. I've already given away um, my CME CNC... Uh, Printer, the very first one, Eris, the Eris. That's uh, I've been giving away. I've given away my TiVo Michelangelo. I've given away my other TiVo. Um, so that's already like three printers or more. And I'm planning to I'm planning to give more stuff away because uh, again, as I said before, I've got back problems. Uh, I can't be sitting in chairs or in front of desks anymore. So. My 3D printing and 3D modeling days are done, so I want to give those things away to people. Pass the torch along! Pass the torch along, as I said before in other videos that probably nobody ever got to see. So there. So that's another thing that uh, has been going on and uh, other projects that may be happening. I don't know, maybe there, there may be some other fun club projects happening. I'm trying to get um, a Rico Theta X. Uh, I don't know if the company will, will, will allow me to get one. And the other thing that I'm looking for getting uh, not just VR, uh, but getting some artificial intelligence robots. I'm working for a couple of companies and hopefully get one to send me a cool artificial intelligence thing that I can talk to and integrate into the channel so we can have... You know, like, I, I, I make videos, funny videos with Vector and a bunch of other robots that I already own, but it'd be nice to have something that's a little bit more high quality and uh, and better uh, programmed so that I can have proper conversations with it on the channel and hopefully that'll happen soon but anyway it's almost my time to gas up I gotta go guys thanks for joining me on the live stream and I'll see you soon take care guys thanks for uh, all the support and um, it's working it's working thank you guys take care